Hello everyone, I'm at my neighbor's house at the moment, I'm helping him with a blockage in his pipe. And while I was here, I just had a look around and um, I noticed this, which is certainly not up to spec and I don't, um, I don't think it's working very well. This is the pipe that is the evacuation pipe from the, uh, from the washing machine inside the house. It comes out there and then it joins onto this pipe which uh, leads to the bath upstairs. So when water rushes down this pipe, it causes a vacuum and is sucking the water from the, um, the U-trap, P-trap, where the washing machine is connected to. It's supposed to have something like this, which would lead upwards to a uh, to an air vent to break the vacuum. Another thing that worries me is that right over here there's an electrical socket, actually two of them. So um, I really don't want any water anywhere near this in case there's um, blockage or overflow or pipes break. And I don't want any water leaking down here. So here I've made a sketch of the system exactly the way it is at the moment. There's a washing machine over there. This is the P-trap with water in it, and when the, uh, let me just move this, when the bath water runs out here, it creates such a vacuum over here that it actually siphons the water right out there, and uh, poisonous gases can actually enter into the room. So what I should be doing is putting in a, um, an air vent system like that so when there is a vacuum it will just uh, draw the air in from the top and it won't it won't affect the water it won't siphon the water out but because of the proximity of the electrical socket I want to actually take this right away from the corner and I'm going to be putting a system in like that so when the bath water does create a vacuum, it's going to suck air down here. And because I'm 30 minutes away from the nearest hardware shop, and I don't really feel like driving all the way into town on a Saturday afternoon, I'm going to be using this uh, used part, which has all these got all these connections in here. So that should be very interesting. I don't also have the correct couplings and connectors for that. So uh, it should be a very interesting project. And because I don't have any proper connection or coupling, I have to actually make my own here. I've got a hot air gun. Just got to heat that up a little bit. PVC softens at about 70 degrees. After a while, you'll see that it will soften so that you can actually bend it with your hands. Then you get a loose piece of uh, pipe, small piece. Start working it in. is cooled down you can just pull it out and you've got a perfect join 
Now I'm going to do the same to the other side. Again, pour water over it, cool it down. You can pull your little piece out. And there's your join. And I'm just going to chamfer the edges, make sure there's no rough spots in there. Now I've got some PVC weld. I'm going to do the top one first. So I apologize, yesterday when I, um, <clears throat> when I connected this part over here, for some reason the camera didn't work properly. But anyway, it, it's exactly the same as, as that one up there. Um, I just put um, the PVC adhesive inside and then joined the two pipes. So now when the bath water comes rushing past here at the bottom, um, it's going to cause a vacuum in this pipe, but it's not going to siphon the water from the washing machine it's actually going to draw in air through this pipe over here so when i go to town next week i'm going to be buying a special little vent uh, cap which fits on the top of that um, that cap has a one-way system which allows air to go into the system uh, into the pipes but it doesn't allow any poisonous odors or poisonous gases to uh, to, to go out so this repair is now finished and I think it's the most ugliest repair that I've ever done in my life but at least it's a far safer system and I think it's going to work a lot better than it did before. So anyway, thanks for watching.